Hey guys, this is Steve. I'm going to do a quick video here, just a little teaser for the RC Heli Hangout. Um, I'm uh, not really set up for this yet. i um, bit embarrassed. I lost some of my hair. It's coming back for the third time now. It's actually a weird story I'll tell later. It actually happened at the RC Flying Field and it had something to do with mosquitoes. Anyway, uh, I'm going to do a really, really quick demo here. Um, of how well a flight sim works on an absolute crap computer from 2009. We're talking low end. Uh, this is a dual core processor and what I call a $5 video card. Um, really all pretty much throwaway stuff. So I'm going to try to fade this over to real flight and uh, just kind of show a quick demo of the performance I can get on an absolute garbage computer from 2009 with, you know, not a gaming machine, uh, dual core, Pentium dual core processor. So here, have a quick look. Grab my controller here, set the mic down. That's it for now. Um, so I can get the video to come back here. So that's it for now. Just a really quick teaser. Um, I'd like to it, it'd be, the videos I make will be long and drawn out, but I can show step by step, you know, how to take a, a computer, a really really low end computer, and, and get performance kind of like what you're seeing there on your screen. There it looks even better here than it does through a YouTube video, but. Um, but yeah, I'd love to go into detail on that later on and, and kind of do a step-by-step. -step. Try some different computers. That was a um, really, really old computer from 2009. Um, the integrated graphics was so bad on those that they, you know, they came with this really, that one came with a really, really cheap video card, uh, NVIDIA GT710, which I think really is a $5 uh, video card if you were to buy that on eBay today. Um, we can even try it with the, those integrated graphics are so bad. The integrated graphics have gotten a lot better in like 2015, 2016. And, but anyway, I want to do some future videos. I probably should probably look at the camera. Do some future videos um, showing integrated graphics and how to get the most out of them. Um, of course, nothing beats a, a real gaming PC, but, um, but I just want to, I want to knock out that myth that you, you don't need a, you know, a high-end gaming PC to get a good real flight or AccuRC type um, you know, experience with your favorite sim. Some of the newer sims, yeah, the gaming PC is going to do them a lot better, but uh, you can do pretty pretty darn good with what you have. There's just some tweaking and tuning you can do in there to make it significantly better. It doesn't play like that, what you see right out of the box. So, anyway, take care. Thanks for watching. Um, I'm going to end this with uh, just a real quick um, look at the PC that was running this with, without too much detail. Take care. RC Heli, RC Heli Hangout. Have a good one. So what we have here is what most would consider an absolute garbage computer from 2009. This is an Intel dual core, Core 2 Duo CPU from 2009. Um, it, it was a low end computer at that time. Um, we were building quad cores in 2007. This is a low end from 2009 dual core. We've got 4 gig of DDR2 RAM. This has an NVIDIA GT710 video card, which I think costs $5 on eBay. Um, this motherboard also has integrated Intel graphics, which back in 2009, um, if you were doing anything other than checking your email, you needed a graphics card. So they had a graphics card option back in 2009. And this was a very, very low-end graphics card option. All, the, all that really did was, you know, you could watch YouTube videos or MP4. Uh, video so you could try to watch them uh, give you a little bit of a little tiny bit of GPU power to do videos and you know definitely even in 2009 no gaming nothing like that but that is the GPU where we have in here and that's what we're testing and this is real flight with a little bit of tuning this is what we're actually using we're using up 71% CPU 
not all of the GPU, but most of it. And we're getting, um, this is the frame rate we're getting on this thing, 238. Uh, I'm only displaying 60 frames per second uh, on, a, on a big TV here. Um, 60 looks pretty gosh darn smooth. And, uh, and what this, all this means is that I can adjust some settings in real flight. We still got some overhead to work with if we are, we're careful. Uh, we got to keep that GPU under 100%. If the GPU goes over 100%, you start seeing jerking in the video. Which, uh, and the same with the CPU. We got to keep both of these under 100% under all conditions while we're uh, running the simulator. And if you do that, you get a nice, 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 nice smooth 60 frames per second on your display. And what most people consider, you know, an, an awesome experience. But uh, but that just tells me I got a little bit of uh, adjustments I can do. I can set the graphics a little higher. They're a little blocky. I mean, I'm really zooming in, but when you zoom back, it's pretty good. So graphics are a little blocky. But this is this is uh, low end hardware from 2009. And anybody anybody that says you need a really high end gaming computer to uh, do your heli sim, uh, they're crazy. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook this to the video capture and uh, show you a little bit of a, a little bit of a flying video as I talk or whatever, kind of see what it does. But this is absolute, absolute low end. Uh, this is we're talking free computer. This is like throwaway stuff here, pretty much. That you know, if you you could probably get your hands on this for free or next to free, and people are throwing this stuff out all the time because nobody wants a computer from uh, from 2009. <laughs> And then, of course, we're not only that, we're running the latest and greatest uh, Windows 11 on this crazy thing, so. Pretty cool.